Many people have compared the conscious mind to a computer program. John Sewell put it as, the mind is to the brain as software is to hardware. Now, there exist two opposing arguments for this. The first is strong AI. According to strong AI, a computer running the right program would be intelligent and have a conscious mind just like ours. But how can we tell if a computer really has artificial intelligence? A strong AI should be able to reason, solve puzzles, make judgments, plan, learn, and communicate. But there is more to being conscious than being intelligent. Strong AI should have consciousness, to have subjective experience and thought, self-awareness, sentience, the ability to feel perceptions or emotions subjectively, and sapience, the capacity for wisdom. So how do we test this? The Turing Test. The Turing Test is a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to, or indistinguishable from, that of a human. To pass this test, a panel of judges must each hold conversations with real people and a computer, unaware of which is which. If the judges are unable to distinguish the computer from the people, then it has passed the Turing test. The second argument is weak AI. According to weak AI, computers can only simulate the mind. They may simulate real intelligence, but however good they are, they cannot create a real mind or a real consciousness, but only as if consciousness. John Searles supports weak AI with his famous Chinese room thought experiment. Suppose a man is sitting in a room with instructions on how to respond to certain Chinese conversation without any actual translations. A Chinese speaker outside the room passes notes back and forth under the door. As far as the person outside is concerned, they are holding a conversation with somebody fluent in Chinese, thereby passing the Turing test. Cyril claims that the person inside the room doesn't really understand the conversation, simply simulating it. As he put it, Syntax does not suffice for semantics, and the Turing test is simply not a good measure of artificial intelligence.